Okay, it sounds like the audio is just about to kick in. I don't know what's going on, I can't get any commentary. So I'll just switch to environmental and I'll be quiet.
protection. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to MJ Morgan Oval. After an uninspiring start, thanks to flat batteries and um, a lack of enthusiasm on my behalf. Um, well, speaking of uninspiring starts, uh, Colbo having an uninspiring start at the moment. Mount's got the first four goals of the game, so uh, in the 15 minute mark of the first quarter they're leading by three goals and um, have had the majority of the play. Elliot Bowen did kick an earlier a, a fantastic goal just recently, so uh, we've been on the back foot. <laughs> Stephen Tui now at centre half forward with the ball, goes to kick long in the Bowen direction. Oh, he gets up high, couldn't bring it down. He's battling away on the ground level, nice little hand, shovels it out. Nick Knight couldn't pick it up. Ryan Horn's battling away there. Bit of a pile up. Uh, in the early parts of the play, I think Dale Wakeman, not Dale, Ben Wakeman has probably snagged a couple. I don't know who the other goal kickers were. Here we have me co-commentator coming. Bert. Been recruiting. Did you get Wally? Yes, I went to tip some of that and I tipped it on the Hon family before. <laughs> this is just what you <laughs> That's what happens when it uh, they go away for a while, they lose some of their respect. <laughs> Belgium. Hey, Damo, you got me? Come on, welcome, Bernard. That's a bit of a sluggish start. Yeah, well, I hadn't seen it. I was sticking inside with the seconds guys after their, their win. Falling over the line. Yes, uh, the seconds, seconds ran out of the blocks early. They had a, what, a seven goal to two lead there at one stage, and then Mounts piled it on. But, yeah, uh, I saw the net ball down Would have, would have been better. Here we've got uh, the money man, Dale Whiteman Jr. Lining up for his third. I think it's his third. No, he's missed that one. Pushed it away. That's lucky. It's probably a $20,000 point, that one. Um, the thirds, they... Uh, they Came back down to earth with a bit of a thud, Bernard. Yeah, yeah. Now there's rumours abounding, Bernard, that. Um, uh, rumours that uh, we're going to an under-18 competition next year. Did that did that happen during the week? No, no. There's been submission put in um, that will clearly uh, because we've got nothing except under-12s. So there's money made that we've, we've got kids coming out of under-12s, and uh, if the league agrees, they'll be going into under-18s. Uh, under so, uh, yeah, yeah. Get reasonably confident it won't get passed. Quite. You're not confident, but you're hoping it won't get passed. Well, if the league decides to go to under they have no idea about um, what small towns have to go through to get a third side. Oh, good work there from uh, Damien Carmody. A uh, bit of bullocking work, but somehow gives away the free. Good, nice to see Carmo up forward. <laughs> yeah, well... Nice little mark from Mitch Bright. Normally he runs and goes, but he's got a, he's held up nicely. Picks up Chris Horsley. Oh, oh. oh unlucky. Slipped as he went to play on. Mount scoop it up. Bit of a race for the goal. Matt McAvoy manages to punch it over the ground, over the line. Good work. 
Yeah, so that's a, something that's been popped up, wasn't it, uh, on Friday. They've sent through a submission and we've got two weeks to respond. Yeah, right. Did that come from some of the other clubs? Yeah. 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 And, yeah we, we sort of understand their position to extent, but um, I think we realise that Colbo won't have a side next year and we'll, we'll do something else with our juniors to ensure that they go, get a game of footy. Yeah. But, um, really, the yeah, league go ahead with it. Um, we'll have lost a lot of um, confidence in, in their long term vision of the league. Yeah, right. -o. They'll be eliminating numerous teams within our country. Yeah, so they're not the only ones in the same pack. Because that'd affect like Elmore and. Oh, yeah, Elmore's and only got under, six, under 12 and then through to the next five. Yes. Oh, look, I know AFL won't be encouraging. So it's they don't like you know, a three year gap, let alone presently a four year gap. And, Make it a five year or no, six year gap. Yeah. Twelve's in the Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, it depends when the league can see through all the short term games that some clubs might get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what are the reasons for doing it? What, um, for it, uh, I know Mounts are probably one of those teams. What are, what are the reasons for going to an under 18s for them? Um, but, it's not such mounts, but a lot of the Bendigo sides have got under 16 mm -hmm. in the Bendigo comp. And uh, so they and then struggle to actually field under 17s mm -hmm. because most will play under 16s. Um, and then post under 17s, a lot of their players attempt to play somewhere else in an under 18 comp. Rather. A lot of them are yeah. under 18. Um, so it's sort of. Which I yeah, we understand that, but at present at the moment all sides have got a side. Mm. And it's, uh, if it's not completely broken, why are we trying to fix it? Yeah. Yeah, very good point. I mean, I, I, realistically, we'd be better off going to under 16 because it closes the gap from under 12s and then up to under 16s, which I think we can handle. Well, it looks like it might have just snuck over the line there. Big D Carmody. So it's Colbo's second goal. Uh, two goals, 12 uh, to Mounts 4 4 28. So, so I'm fairly keen to ramble on for a little bit while, until we sort of can try and catch up with them. Yeah, that's what we're talking about the football at the moment. Still a well, I didn't start off when Mounts were kicking all those goals. I just sat here and watched it and let Damien do his stuff because uh, um, it's a lot easier. This thing got something more rain this week. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, excellent. Forecasted what about five mil and we got maybe fifteen across the uh, it looks like it on our commentary booth here that we've had about twenty five or thirty mil. Yeah, mm. Uh yes, and it's uh, created some optimism around the place. It's uh, certainly much required. Hopefully we get a little bit more this week. The 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 old MJ Morgan would have been getting a bit uh, hard underfoot. Mitch Bright with a spearing kick. Yeah, so we snuck down to uh, Lonsdale for a couple of days, so we haven't been around the paddocks for I thought it was probably a bit of a lift. Yes, they look magnificent. Well, by comparison to last week. Ah, farming talk brought to you by... <laughs> <laughs> And if Mounts keep, farm if, if, if it keeps winning, we'll probably keep talking farming. <laughs> so urea sales a bit flat and <laughs> yes, now, yes uh, a little bit of a spurt this week, uh, late this week after the rain. But prior to that, it was like, uh, hello, we've got another goal. We can maybe start to talk the footy. <laughs> Who snagged that one? Uh, I think it's Bevo. Steve. Steve and Tui, back from the seconds. Now, interestingly, uh, the seconds were going to have a, a bit of a, a beer drinking challenge today, but they've called it off because Steve and Tui is playing seniors. So that's interesting. And actually, Steve and Tui was very upset about being called up to the seniors based on the rumour going around that they're going to to get together. If he keeps kicking goals, he mightn't make the next uh, the next edition. <laughs> he might have to wait till he retires when I have a, a post. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And 
he's been busy cutting a bit of firewood for the um, for the wrapper at the gate. This one. There was some nice, uh, nice yellow box by the look of it. Yeah. Uh, a bit of a winner. We had the uh, had the netballers selling raffle tickets today. You can't beat that for um, raffle ticket sales. I think Sinatra himself bought about two hundred dollars worth. He just thought that was pretty good. Yes, he did enjoy it. All this bit of a scramble through. Captain Price manages to run it over. Turning up to the football and seeing you know people like Norm and Meathead, it's a bit of an improvement to see. <laughs> And stuff. It's, there's a, a magnificent crowd here today too. Like uh, it's a. Oh, there's a bit of a Matt McAvoy drop one there. Drag, Tap. Dragging the dredge around the yard hasn't helped him. <laughs> Look at some of the Facebook stuff. Dredging the yard. Well, he's been rehabilitating dragging. Old farm implements around, yep. around the yard. Waiter! <laughs> so Stories, Morrow. Uh, you, oh, he just. Oh, that was almost a terrific pass. <laughs> it was. He's, even his mother has really disowned him there over that one. Yeah. And fair enough, too, it was a shocker. <laughs> Becoming another grandmother. You're knitting furiously. Hello, Calvo's got the free kick. Looks like Sauce. Sauce coming up with the ball, number 31. The Sananid kid. If we were, uh, it's been a good fight back by the boys so far, like uh, after a very flat and horrible start. How's he gone? Uh, it's not going to quite make the distance. Still getting paddled forward. Ch chance for Will Lowe. No, man on the mark. Smothered. Source in there again. And there's a siren. It's a pity they couldn't snag one there. But anyway, at uh, quarter time, 3 0 18 Colbo to 4 5 29. One in that third coach, right? Yeah, And there's that's right. There's uh, Bernard's cousin Phil. Hey Phil, if you're listening. And that was just the present of um, Mount Pleasant for the number of our third coach because you're so impressed with um, but um, when you're listening, or when you listen later on, that's after Mount Sandley thrashed them today in the third. He's also a good commentator, but he adds this level of professionalism that we struggle with, to be honest. <laughs> hey, it was. Excellent. He's, uh, who, who is it? Yep. He, um, this is a bit of a gentle breeze favouring favouring the, the pavilion in, but it's not not dramatic. There's the Indiana bull getting carted across the ground with a very elderly grandmother. Yeah, yeah. She looks like she's walking with a limp. Which means she's raised by Matt McAvoy's father. Oh, John.
hear you. Uh, could you hear it at all? Side of conversation. Oh well, it's just editing the rubbish. Are we going to continue talking? Um, spell. Is yours on? Oh, yeah, I presume so. Yeah, you just press it once and it can change on the Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'll mute. Went down fishing. Yeah, yours is on, so press the button once. That one? Yeah. Alright. 